What's going on guys, Kooka here, and today I have another install tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing the Zombies Mod Pack, also known as the Fly Mod. Um, this has tons of other mods into it too. What you're going to need for this mod is Zombies Mod Pack, obviously, and Mod Loader. This is version 4.29 for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. And I love this background. <laughs> you guys like it too, I know that. Don't even lie to me. I love you, so you love this. Alright. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make a backup for your dot .minecraft. What you're going to do is you're going to go down to the start button. You're going to click on that. If you're on XP, you're going to uh, click on run. And then type percent app data percent. If you're on Windows 7 or Vista, just type that in. You're going to see a roaming folder. Click it or press enter. You're going to see a dot .minecraft folder. I deleted a couple things out of here. Anyway, uh, you're going to see a dot .minecraft folder. Click on that once. Right click. Copy. Go onto your desktop. Right click and choose paste. This now made a backup for your dot .minecraft folder. I made a fresh one, so yeah. Anyway, go back into your dot .minecraft. If you exit out of it for some reason, go back down to your start button. Type in percent app data percent and come back here. So now you're going to double click on the dot .minecraft folder. You're going to see a bin folder. You're going to double click on that. You're going to go all the way down until you see a minecraft dot jar. Click that once, right click, open with WinRAR Archiver. If you don't have WinRAR, I'll have it in the in the description so you guys can download it. Um, what you're gonna do first of all is click that and press delete on your keyboard or just right click and choose delete files. Um, now what we're gonna do is minimize this and go on to mod loader. Bring that over there. Do that. Now what we're gonna do is highlight all of these class files inside the mod loader you're gonna click and drag them into the dot class files in the minecraft dot jar make sure it's on add and replace click ok now you have mod loader installed you're gonna exit out of that now for zombies mod pack you can bring that over you're gonna see basically three files cause the fourth the fourth is a readme doesn't really matter anyway you're gonna see a classes file you're gonna double click on that now what you're going to do is highlight all of these, do the same thing. Click and drag them into the dot class files. Make sure it's on add and replace files again. Click OK. Now that's installed. Now what we're going to do is the source is nothing. So don't even worry about that. Don't delete it though. It's, it's nothing. Anyway, you can now exit out of your Minecraft dot jar. And you should still have your dot minecraft open if you don't just go down your start button type in percent app date app data percent and sorry that was my phone if you guys heard that um yeah so go back into the dot minecraft now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it and then right click choose new folder type in mods and no capitals or anything just type that in now what you're gonna do, double click on that, you're gonna make a new folder once again, go down to unit new folder, type in Z O M B E. Not B I E, just B E. I don't know why, it's just weird. Anyway, you're gonna double click on that. Now we're gonna go back into here. Now you're gonna see a config um folder. You're gonna double click on that. You're going to highlight every single file in here. You're going to click and drag them into there. You basically have it installed now. You don't really need the zombies mod pack. Now what you can do is just go into here. And let's... There's tons of mods in here. There's lots. Anyway, people usually use it just for the fly mod. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, if you see these little hashtag things, all you got to do is just take them out. What that will do is what it will enable like every single thing that you delete, like mod fly enabled. You have to delete the hashtag thing, and it will be true. 
you can do this to every single one. You can change these and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to change this to R. Change this to T. And, yeah, I'll change that later. Anyway, you can change it to whatever you want. You can change um, the speed and stuff like that. Once you're done, all you got to do is go to the file, click that, and then click save. And, yeah, it's bit, it's now done. Now I'm just going to show you the Mojang screen. If my Minecraft would open, there we go. Okay, log in. This is probably going to take a really long time. <laughs> my Minecraft's being really dumb lately. Like starting yesterday, I'm not even sure what happened. <laughs> it'll yeah, it'll do that, and then can't connect to Minecraft on, and then it'll click try again. It'll log in, and it'll take a really long time, and it'll probably work. There we go. See, I got the Mojang screen. That means it's all good. If this tutorial helped you guys, please remember to like it. If you like the stuff that I do, please remember to subscribe. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.